Hey, what is going on guys? It is Hoxas here back with another COD mobile video Now as you guys can tell I got the little hat and I got the the balloons courtesy of my my parents because it is actually my birthday Just turned 19. I had a ton of comments of people saying like bro I thought you're like 25 and stuff like that, but no, I'm 19. I'm still in my teens if you guys are curious uh, but anyway, that's not what we're here to do. Uh, what we're here to do is go ahead and open up the Cosmos Chance Lucky Draw. If you guys remember the Halloween Lucky Draw, this is the exact same thing. But also one thing that happened during the Lucky Draw was uh, the, the developers didn't really tell people like what the rates were and what the chances were to actually get guns or weapons or whatever you were trying to pull. And this time they actually did much better with that. So if we go to more info, we can actually see the Cosmos Chance Summary and it'll explain exactly what it is and like what the, the chance of getting every single thing is so the chance of getting the cosmos skin for the brand new gun the razorback which is a smg by the way is 0 0.08 the battery is 1.25 anyway all that you guys can see the percents uh we're gonna be going until we get every single skin anyway uh but we i do want to see if we can actually get it like a little bit earlier so hopefully we don't get the razorback skin as our very last pull maybe we can get it as like our our first or second i highly doubt it but we'll see but yeah anyway they did disclose all the percentages which is super good because it's just good to see that the game is kind of going in a way where they listen to community feedback and actually come back and you know kind of do what's right so anyway let's go ahead and go back and actually go look at what there is to get there's the razorback which is again a brand new gun as far as i know the only way to actually get it right now is here so basically everyone that has the razorback is either going to be really rich or super lucky uh until they release it in the store for cheaper or you can get it through unlocking whatever it is uh so yeah let's go ahead and try to get it and then also obviously there's the battery skin and then a few other weapon skins which i don't really care about the only one is like the magic bowl i think this one's pretty cool uh, everything else i don't really care for to be honest and then also a dab emote which actually is kind of cool i'm fine <laughs> i'm fine with that but yeah anyway let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and see what we can get so we're gonna go for our very first one it actually starts out at 120 which is i'm pretty sure more expensive than last time i think last time it started at 40. uh so this one might go hold on let's check the prices does it let us know how much it gets up to? So it starts at 120, uh, and then it says 240, and then it goes to 400, and then from 400 it goes to... Oh, is it 400 every time after that? Again, I'm opening it no matter what, so might as well just go ahead and get right into it. It might actually cap at 400 and not go above that, though, which would be super cool. So anyway, let's go ahead and go with our first one. We're going to go ahead and get the... Uh, dab emote which is pretty cool i'm definitely fine with getting that just because that was one of the things i wanted to get honestly though it doesn't matter what we get at the start because we're just going to be getting every single thing the only way i wouldn't go and get everything is if we get the razor back as like our second or third pull otherwise we're literally just going to go until we have everything so here we go with our second so it did go up to 240 cp uh see what we can get and we're gonna get the m4 makes sense or the m4 lmg uh go ahead and do another one this is 400 uh, I am curious if it's going to go above 400 after this, though. Okay, we're going to get the wingsuit. And, okay, so it goes up to 700. So currently we've spent, what was it, 120, 240, 400 here. Let me keep a running total of how much we've spent. We spent 1460 as soon as I open up this next one. So here we go. This is 1460 spent total. And we're going to get the AKS. Okay, cool. I'm definitely cool with that. That's a pretty sick looking skin. I like that. It looks like a comic, too. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. AKS is a super good gun, by the way. You see a lot of pros using it right now. Okay, so our next one is going to be 1,000. So we're going to go ahead and add 1,000 and open it. Let's see what we can get. And we're going to get the helicopter skin, which is kind of meh. I don't really play BR, so I don't really care. Uh, but anyway, with our next one, which is going to be 1,400, we go ahead and add 1,400. And we're going to get the knife. Okay, cool. Tropical. I already have the folding knife from Halloween, and I have the Karambit, or whatever. Karambit, I think is how you pronounce it. Uh, the color burst one, which is a super sick skin as well. Anyway, we're now at 3,860 spent, as you guys can see right here. Uh, this next 1,800 is going to put us at that much spent, which is right around 100 bucks, if you guys were curious, in uh, COD points. So here we go, 1,800. This is going to more than likely get us the M4. I'd be really surprised if it doesn't. Okay, yeah, there we go. We get the M4. The next batch is going to put us up 2,300. So it still scales a ton. Uh, this will put us right here. So that's like eh, 130 bucks or something. I don't really know for sure. But anyway, here we go. Oh, I'm kind of hoping for the chick. Oh, wait, we still have the... Okay, we still have the Arctic Fit. I kind of forgot about that. So cool, we got the Arctic Bowl, which is the same skin as the AKS. I honestly think it's a really cool looking skin. Uh, but we got that on the Arctic 50. And now we have two left. So this next one is going to put us up 3,000, which is going to go to 10,960. So this is almost $200. Almost. All right, here we go. 3,000. I'm hoping for 
the girl kind of? I don't know, dude, because... Yeah, okay, we're going to get the girl. So we have to get every single item now, because there's no way we stop without getting the, the Razor skin. Anyway, though, we got the battery Sting. It says Aaron Baker in Sting uniform member. Then. All right, yeah, so there we go. Pretty cool. Uh, I like this skin. It looks... I don't know. I, I like the gold on it. That looks pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think of this skin, though. I definitely think it's it's pretty cool. I don't think it'll be my main skin or anything, though. I think I'll still be using, like, Outrider, Merc 5, uh, and Profit as, like, my, my main three skins. Anyway, here we go, though. Getting the Razorback Cosmos. It's guaranteed at this point it's going to be 4,500, which will put us at 4,500. 15,460 total COD points spent, which is right around 220 bucks, 230 bucks, uh, which is absolutely insane. Uh, anyway, this is kind of like a pay to win skin. It does have like a, a benefit to it, as do a lot of like really nice skins. Uh, it says double kills will add some bullets into your clip instantly, which is pretty cool. I actually don't know the mag size on this. I am going to be testing it and uploading a video talking about it and like how good it is and if it's the best SMG, if it's the worst SMG, if it's just a decent SMG, all that stuff I'll be covering in a video very soon. We will get a little bit of gameplay with it right after i'm done doing this uh but anyway also the kills are broadcasted with effects and it says a cosmic razorback as its description as you can tell the skin does actually move i'll go ahead and zoom in on it right now but yeah anyway let's go ahead and open it it's going to be guaranteed instantly you just get it there's no spinning right it's going to give it to me right okay Ooh, that was a cool animation that's the razorback cosmo skin Go ahead and tap to close, tap to continue, and there we go. So let's go ahead and set up class with everything that we just got. So we got the battery. I'll go ahead and just throw on a matching backpack, which is kind of matching. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and go to Razorback Cosmos. As you can tell, if I go to SMG, it's going to pop up there. Uh, it is an SMG. Oh, wait, I guess any gun you have equipped is going to pop up there. So let's go ahead and equip a different gun and see if it's there. So we'll go ahead and equip the AK, and then if we go to SMG, you can see Razorback right there. And then also the AKS. So we got this. And we also got this, which is crazy sick. So we're going to go ahead and equip that. We're also going to upgrade it, and I'll just max it out real quick. So we got plenty of cards to do so. Uh, optic, we'll go ahead and do the good old red dot. Uh, long barrel. So stat-wise, I'm going to assume a laser sight's going to be good because it's probably going to have pretty crazy spread. Four grip, we'll go ahead and throw that on, and a long barrel. So those are the attachments I'm just going to start out with. I will also set up a class right now with uh, the same girl, battery. Uh, and then we'll do the razor back cosmos and all right and then for this class we'll just do a red dot with absolutely no attachments just because i want to see how it performs uh with no attachments but anyway here's like our our main class that we're going to use uh and yeah let's just go ahead and hop into a game and see how this gun actually performs also for flexing i might as well put on the folding knife as well okay but yeah so this is the class that we're actually going to use let's go ahead and hop into a domination match and just kind of test out the gun and see how it feels all right so here we go Oh, that sounds like... Me, I like the PDW. Well, oh, the reload's cool. Bro, it seems like it has no recoil, though. It seems really good already. Oh, it's a laser. I'm pretty sure that's like the same noise as the PDW, I think. I don't know. Might be a little bit more tinny. No, it might be different, actually. Dude, this thing is a laser. This thing is super good already. Okay, that guy's probably low. Okay, it's... Ah, the range is actually kind of good. I got him pretty low. Uh, the mag size, by the way, I don't think I have an X mag on it. 50. The gun is very similar to a PDW. Bro, it's, it's pretty nasty, I gotta admit. I don't have a scavenger on in this class, by the way, so... Yeah, dude, this thing is a beam. Absolute beam. That's a range test. Dude, it's a laser. Very general question. Oh my god, dude, there's a good chance this gun will be used by everyone in the competitive scene. Thing is gnarly. Alright, that's the end battle. of the first round. Pretty good. Alright, so that was the first round. Let's go ahead and hop into a second round. I don't know what the best Lost attachments the are quite yet, because I can't tell what's bad. What's here, actually? Let's go ahead and die and then go to the default class just because I want to see how it is with no attachments. Alright. Definitely kicks a little harder, which is expected, but still. That seemed pretty accurate. That guy was already low. It's not going to be super accurate. I saw a tracker on this class. I just realized that. Oh, man. It, it kicks pretty hard at range, but that's expected. There's also a hunter killer here somewhere. Right, we're going to go ahead and go back to the class with the attachments, because this one is pretty... pretty 
Yeah, okay, so when you get hit, okay, I guess it makes sense because I actually have really bad, like, attachments of perks on that class. But when you get hit, you get aim punched pretty hard, which means it makes it harder to aim. And that is the end of the round. We're going to go ahead and lose. I wasn't actually playing for the domination. I was just kind of run around and test the gun. Uh, again, super gnarly. I, I like it, to be honest. Um, without attachments, it's pretty tough to control, but that's going to be like any gun. I honestly can't think of anything that's super bad with it. But yeah, so that was just some quick gameplay. I will do a full video talking about the Razorback very soon, potentially even out tomorrow. We will see. Once again, it is my birthday, so I don't want to be putting too much time into this video right now. So I do apologize if this uh, if this video is kind of rushed. But again, I'll put a lot of time into testing and just seeing how this gun is. If it's worth it to get it. Um, again, it seems pretty good. It's pretty similar to a PDW. This seems like a cooler looking PDW, but I could be wrong. I'm going to go ahead and look at all the stats and see if they're different. One thing I do want to point out, though, uh, I'm pretty sure if you go to the gun and you do uh, compare. How do you compare guns again? I always forget. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so if I go up here, compare the Razorback to my PDW, you're going to see that the stats are identical. Now, one thing is the in-game stats are not actually accurate. So even though it says the stats are the same, they could be different. I'm pretty sure the PDW actually has the same damage as the DLQ, which is the sniper, which I'm not able to compare. So as you can see, it also says it has the same damage as the sniper, which honestly, it doesn't. <laughs> so I will be doing some testing. Uh, I will go ahead and see if it shoots faster than other guns, if it has better range, uh, the damage. So yeah, I'll make sure to test everything, including the damage, the fire rate. I'll probably even test like how fast you run with it and all that to see if it's a really good rushing SMG. Uh, we'll test its hit fire accuracy, its scoped inaccuracy, its recoil, all that stuff. We'll go ahead and see if it's a, a good SMG to go for, especially considering that right now it's super expensive. So hopefully that can help you guys kind of figure out if it is worth it uh but from just my my limited testing that one game that i had it does seem like a better cooler looking pdw that's kind of what it feels like to me but yes yeah, so if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to drop a like and a sub i'm doing a lot of informative content lately i'll also be having a mythbusters video coming out in the next few days if you guys haven't watched episode one and two of that i highly recommend it a lot of really cool information in those videos um and then also but yes yeah, so if you guys did make it to the end of the video thank you guys for watching and sticking around this long and i'll see you guys later peace